Stardew Valley has just had a new update, the 1.6.4 patch, and with this comes some new content and features, along with balance and quality of life changes, loads of fixes, and improvements. But today I want to talk about some of the new content, which involves the mines. Now once you reach the bottom of the mines for the first ever time, 120, the next time you come down to the mines, you will unlock 20 brand new alternate mine layouts that you can bump into in your mining adventures. Now there is also 20 new volcano mine layouts over on Ginger Island, which we'll go over and look at once we've discovered these ones. Something awesome about the mines as well, every year that you complete in the game, all of the coal that you find in the little backpacks and the mine carts, they will actually respawn back in, so you can get multiple amounts of coal every year, which is always nice. So let's start on floor one, and we'll kind of just work our way down. I might use staircases for this. And this is just going to speed things up a little bit. So hopefully we can find the new layouts. It's going to be hard to tell which ones are new and which ones are old. Oh, hold on, what's this? I don't know if these are old or not. Are these like the haunted floors with the schools? So I've just had to confirm to make sure this wasn't new, and this is not a new one. This is the dungeon floors. Basically, they are the same appearance as the quarry mine, and this has a 4.4% chance of generating as a dungeon floor once the quarry mine has actually been unlocked. And these floors do have the same enemies and rocks as the quarry mine, and they can often be considerably harder than the floor that it replaces. Ooh! This looks a bit different. It looks very small, like a different layer. I've never, I don't think I've seen this one with the two coal things there, floor nine. That does look a little bit different too. I could be losing my head, but I'm sure they look different. You guys left to let me know if any of these look different to you. It's really, it's throwing me off now. It's hard to tell because maybe they're just subtle changes just to kind of give them a bit more variety. So it doesn't look too samey same, you know? I know that one definitely looks like the same. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, this looks so good! This is obviously some kind of mine, mine cart layout here. There's mine carts everywhere. Uh, the tracks as well. Oh, this is awesome. If these were filled with coal, I don't know if this is going to like maybe respawn at the end of the year. But if coal was in these, that would be so good. Because that way it's a good way of gathering a lot of coal. I'm not sure why they're not in there. I'm hoping that they do come though. So I'm not seeing many new ones on the ice floors here. These all look the same to me. This is definitely... I don't think I've seen this one before. This is actually quite big. Wow. Coal bag there. Is this, this definitely looks different. This entrance here. This looks so... And it's all diggable. Wow, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. If I have, then that's my bad, if this is not new. But maybe it is. Like I said, this is my first time diving into this. So it's hard to tell what's new and what's not. Because there's quite small little changes. They're not completely different, it seems. If you're a person who doesn't really spend much time in the mines, you might not see much difference. Ooh, now this also looks new. The ladder in the middle and then kind of like going all the way around like this and it goes up yeah this oh it goes really far up as well so that's definitely a new change i've never seen that one myself oh now this looks new as well again with the ladders in the middle and look at this it looks maybe like some kind of that's a skull the actual fate the layout of the map here is a skull. You see the nose here where we've came down. This is like the teeth, jaw area. Then you've got the eyes here. This looks new. Yeah, it's like a school layout. The actual shape of it. That's awesome. So I like that one. That's kind of cool. Oh, does this look a bit different? This is basically me just guessing here. Um, this one looks a bit unusual to normal. But ever so slightly, so I'm not too sure. Okay, so we reached the bottom. I did see a few new ones for sure. Not sure if there was 20. Maybe if we come back tomorrow, they might look a little bit different. So I've came back and this is floor 18. This again, definitely is one of the new ones. We've seen this on, was it the ice or maybe the fire floors? Where you kind of spawn in the middle here and then you go all the way up. So that's definitely confirmed is a new one. 
It does really throw you off because this also looks new as well. Kind of very simple. But because you're kind of like focusing on it, it really does play with your mind. It's like tricking you. Like, is this new or not? So it looks like they are maybe random. It's just going to give you random layouts. Because this feels different to the first time. Completely. So maybe every time you come to the mines, it's going to be different, which is awesome. I love that. And it does say, to be fair, alternate. So they, they will alternate as you come. So that kind of makes sense. So every mining adventure or trip that you do is going to be unique and different. And you're going to get d different floors now, you know. It's just kind of going to give you these random ones. Mix things up a little bit. 20 new ones thrown in. So yeah, this is definitely random. They do alternate. Oh, look at this one. So this is one of the minecart ones in the same form of the like ancient prehistoric layout with the new rocks and stuff. This looks pretty cool. So it does just give you that variety. Oh, look at this one. Two minecarts going through the middle. Now this is pretty cool. Some crates up here as well. Another new one that we've not seen yet. So it looks like, yeah, just randomly come down. You'll see quite a few. I like this one a lot. There's more crates over here. Just the mine system going through the middle. Very simple, but yeah, I like it. It looks like they've added more of these carts filled with coal. So at the end of the year, you can come down here and get quite a lot of them. So yeah, I thought I'd just come through again just to kind of make sure we didn't miss out on any new, new ones. This looks different as well, actually. I don't think I've seen this one before. So that run was completely different to the first time, which is interesting. But now, let's head over to Volcano Island. So once you've reached the bottom of this volcano mine for the first time, and you unlock this shortcut here, which you come down this side. You come through here, step on the button to open the door. Once you've done that, then you will start finding the new floors. But only once you've done that first. So, let's see if any of these stand out. They have also changed the enemies, or the monsters, at the very entrance of the mine. They used to be the same all the time. I think there used to be three tiger slimes. And one of those, like, things that blow up. Well, apparently they're randomised now. This is going to be really hard for me to tell, actually, because I don't really come down here much. So, yeah, this is going to be quite interesting. And these always kind of, to me, looked a bit different anyway. So, it's like with these things, like these little trap rooms where you have to release the buttons. It's so hard to tell if these are the same or not. I'm kind of just going to go down here and see if any stand out to me. So far, I can't, I, I mean, I'm going towards number five now. I can't really tell the difference much. I haven't really spent much time down in these mines, especially recently, so it's really hard to tell what is new and what's not. I think they're just going to be very similar to the first one in the mines, just subtle changes, kind of different variety. And every time you come down here, you will get different ones. It's not going to look the same every single time. I find these so annoying, these mines. These flames are just on another level. They are so frustrating. They don't give you time to do stuff. And because they work different as well, you know, you can't find a ladder. You have to just reach the end. And there's these different puzzles like this, for example. Having to use your watering can to press a switch. Oh, I just haven't got time for it. It's definitely not my favorite thing. I'm not a fan of the volcano mines in Stardew Valley. So it is hard to tell the changes because, like I said, I don't come here enough, to be honest. Like, nothing is really standing out there now this looks crazy like the river of lava now this one might look a bit different i've never normally seen this myself but i say i could be wrong just because i don't really spend much time down here but this looks you know this looks completely different this is insane just like look little streams of lava coming all the way through the map making you have to use your watering can to actually get across to make bridges i like it so this is definitely one that i have never seen before Wow, it's actually quite big as well. It's so open. So there has been a new change as well. If you've ever noticed before, when especially these volcano ones, like as soon as you come down, there'll be like one of these enemies ready to attack instantly. And it's the same with the school cavern. Sometimes you can get on a floor and the serpents will fly straight into you, not even giving you time to, to think. Well, apparently that's been delayed now. So you aren't going to get attacked instantly. I think there's like a nearly a two second delay or something like that to give you time to kind of move, get prepared, see the surroundings and then make a decision what you want to do, which is nice. It's going to be good for the school cavern, that one, because the serpents can be extreme. But there we go. I think I probably saw maybe two new ones there that I've never seen before. One of them was very obvious. The other I thought was subtle. So, yeah, maybe I'll come down again, try and find some more. There has been one change to the school cavern whilst we're on the topic of mines, and that is to do with the, the treasure chests. 
So you probably know if you use staircases, they're probably the best way to do it. Keep coming down the school cavern. Eventually you'll bump into some treasure rooms. There'll be a chest in there. This is a good chance to find the auto peta and loads of goodies. Well now there has been new improvements to those and more variety. So you will get different things, maybe some better things in the treasure chest. It's not going to be the same stuff. Because one thing I was noticing, it was very repetitive with some of the rewards that you get. So I'm hoping we can find one today. I might pop a lucky lunch here. And we'll see if we can find any new treasure that I've never seen in these chests or these rooms before. And here we go. We are on our first one. So, can we get something new today? We still might get the old same stuff. But there's been improvements and changes. So let's find out. Okay, an apple sapling. I feel like we might have seen those before, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, doing this treasure hunt is actually one of my favorite things to do. Especially end game for me, where I've got a ton of money, a ton of staircases. And yeah, just coming down and trying to see what goodies you can find. The fact that they have changed and been improved and more variety is actually quite exciting for me. Because this is just such a fun thing to do, in my opinion. Oh my god, I actually got the auto petter on camera for you guys. Let's go. I think I needed one more of these as well. The auto petter. Let's go. But we know that we can always get... Maybe they've made it a bit easier to get. Maybe that's something with the auto petter. Maybe that could be one of the changes. They're not as rare and hard to find now. Because it was kind of unfair, if you think about it. Because if you went with the Jojo run, you could just buy one. Whereas if you went with the normal intended way to play the game, getting the auto petter was <laughs> super, super tough and it could take a long, long time. We've got another one here. Can it be something good? Some sea foam pudding. Interesting. Very, very good for fishing, by the way. Well, it is. It's the best food you can eat to give you a plus four fishing, which in total, if you're level 10, makes you level 14. And we got another one, but you guaranteed this one. Floor 100, uh, the rain totems. I think there is a quest that you need to actually reach level 100. So this chest will always be there. I want to... Ooh, is this a different... Hold on. I feel like I've never seen this floor before. The minecart's going all the way to the top. Let me know down below, guys. Is this new? This feels so new. Wow. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm losing my mind now. <laughs> I can't tell what's new or what's not. Maybe the school cavern has got some new alternate floors as well. It doesn't say though. Oh, we got another one. Right, I just want I just want to try and get something completely new that I've never seen in these before. Autumn's bounty. So I've noticed we're getting quite a bit of food now. Uh, oh, got another one not far after. Wow. Warp totems. Yeah, I always get the totems as well. They are very annoying. You seem to get them quite a lot. Warp totems to the farm. But the thing is, I have the return scepter, so it makes them very pointless to me. And I never use them. Oh, what the hell? Guys, look at this. This is a brand new floor. I've never, ever seen this. The school cavern with these, like, columns. Please tell me this is new. Why am I? I'm not losing my head. I've never seen this. This has got to be new. So the school cavern may have had changes as well, even though it doesn't say. This has got to be new. This is so cool. Let me know if you've seen this one already, or is it my first ever time? I, I feel like I've never seen that one. That was such a cool floor. I'm so glad I'm doing this, actually, because I would never have bumped into that. I swear some of these look different. We have got another chest. More sea foam pudding, okay. Whoa, one straight after? Oh, okay, so you can now find the brand new golden mystery boxes. You can break those open, get some good rewards. They are new to 1.6, so being able to find them in the school cavern as well makes sense, and that's quite handy. Oh, we've got this one again. Yeah, I've never seen this one before. That's got to be new, 100%. And this one. This is also new, in my opinion. The mine going straight up, it has to be. Here we go. Oh, a purple slime egg, 5k. Now, I've never seen one of these in the chest before. That's got to be something new. I guess the school cavern and the mines classes one because the layouts are very similar. So when it says change the mine layouts, it kind of changes school cavern as well because these floors technically are identical to the normal mines. They just look different. So in a way, yeah, it kind of makes sense. You're going to see some new ones down here as well. Oh, look at this floor 200. There's now two chests. <gasps> Another auto petter. Is that guaranteed or what the hell? And some mystery boxes. We've just got two auto petters on this one. 
And we've got another one. Oh my god. Okay. They have definitely increased the spawn rate of these things. I've just found three auto petters. The first time I ever tried to find one of these, it took me days, real life days. I've just found three in one video. So either I'm super lucky or that has just been increased. That is absolutely wild. It was always quite good hunting for them when they was rare. It almost feels like they're not rare anymore. I must admit, they do feel more rewarding. They feel, oh, I'm just straight after. They, they feel better rewards, not the same old crap. Oh my god. Four auto petters. That needs maybe changing. That's a bit too much. They need to tweak that, guys. I can't believe how easily we are finding those auto petters. Four is absolutely insane. So this is going to be the last chest. See if we can find anything new. Some cherry bombs. So kind of gone through quite a bit there. It looks like the school cabin have also been changed. I did spot some new layouts. Even some of the new ones we saw in the original mines. They have also been implemented to school cabin. They just look visually different. So that is it guys. 20 new alternate mine layouts for school cabin and the original mines. And 20 new volcano ones as well. I've not shown all of them because it's randomized. Every time you go there, they will change. Different varieties. Go and discover them yourself. There's also been a delay on monsters attacking you as soon as you drop down to a floor. That's been slowed down a little bit to give you more time. There's more variety in the school cavern with the treasure chests. The monsters in the volcano entry level, when you first get there, are going to now be randomized every day. And another thing, the mine barrels and the coal carts will refresh at the start of every year. So you can go and get the coal again, go and get your new mine barrel rewards. Because you know, once you've destroyed them, they kind of stay destroyed. And same with the coal. But that every year they will come back. Now another thing to mention with the auto petters. Obviously we just found four in the treasure rooms. But if you break open these golden mystery boxes. There is now a chance that these can give you auto petters as well. Making it very easy to find these things now. But they have also slightly reduced the chance of finding these mystery boxes. So the golden and the normal. You won't find them as often as you did when 1.6 first dropped. They're going to be a little bit rarer. But... A chance to get auto petters is awesome as well. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That has been a video showcasing the new mine layouts, some of them, and discussing some of the mining changes. I will do another video showing off some more of the new stuff that has came to 1.6.4. We've got some new changes for fishing and additional things as well. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button. If you're enjoying the 1.6 update, make sure you subscribe to see lots of videos. I've got a playlist down below. You can see all the new 1.6 content and also my 1.6 playlist through series which we are absolutely having a blast with make sure you all take it easy i'll see you on the next one guys stay safe stay cozy